Good morning, this is Stu Sterling from Japan and welcome to part 3 of my Zaxa review and tutorial. Uh, if you haven't seen part 1 and 2, they should be somewhere, so go and check them out. Um, if you don't know what Zaxa is, um, go and watch those videos as well. Um, but this episode I want to talk about and show you how to build a membership site on your WordPress site uh, using a free plugin which Zaxa gives away for free to all its members. Um, so you can build a membership site that integrates with Zaxa to manage your sales, manage your members, uh, manage you know access to different products depending on what your members pay for. When they cancel, they're locked out, they control um, the whole membership site for you. And uh, it's really easy and the best part about it is that it's completely free. So let's get right to it. I'm here in my Zaxa account and I'm here at the Zaxa member uh, download page which is the membership plugin. Uh, to get it just go to settings at the top, scroll all the way down to tools and then Zaxa member is right there. Click on that and you'll come to this page and you'll be able to download your Zaxa member plugin from here. Actually, I can give away this uh, version of the membership plugin. If you want, you can download it from the link below this video, and, but you'll have to you know, add in your Zex, Zaxa member ID and everything like that when you set it up. Or if you're already a member of Zaxa, uh, log in and download it from this page here. Alright, this is one site that um, I've created using the Zaxa member plugin. Now I'm totally logged out, okay, um, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, if I go to member home, you know, it's asking me to log in. Uh, if I try and access any of these lessons here, okay, it's asking me to log in. As soon as I log in though, now I can access all these products. See the links are right there. So <coughs> it protects it all nice. Um, it's very easy to set up um, and I'm going to show you inside kind of how, how uh, the whole system works. So this is another site that I'm working on at the moment and uh, when, once you install it you'll get you'll see it appear in the left sidebar and you've got different sections here where you can manage your products you can manage and set access uh, to pages download links and stuff for uh, different lem uh, membership levels and then you know you can see your members this this is all blank um, except I've started creating products set up product levels and stuff. Uh, you can see reports as well and configuration which is it gives you quite a few options okay so uh, the cool thing about it one of the options here is that you can import and export but you know I'm interested in importing um, all of the data uh, from my other membership systems you know my membership scripts so, you know, when I've got this all set up, I can import the membership data from my other membership script into here and it will work. You know, it'll upload uh, all of the usernames and passwords and stuff so I can, um, you know, I can have a relatively seamless transition to uh, using Zaxa member, which is really cool. Um, page creator, if you want to, you know, create multiple pages for one type of product that's easy to do there. Auto lock members if um, they uh, if you have too many logins uh, from different IP addresses it locks members. You can integrate it with S3 for your download link so you get extra protection there. Um, you can set your emails okay so like registration emails, confirmation emails, forgotten password emails all that kind of stuff. Here is where you uh, set up your Zaxa API signature. So you need to get this right. You need to find it in your Zaxa account. 
make sure this is right so it will work. And then, uh, yeah, there's a couple of extra options here. It will work pretty much straight out of the box. You don't have to change a lot. If you want to have a, a login form on a, on a different page, you know, not, um, not a WordPress page, you can get the HTML for that. It's uh, really, really, you know, it's got, it's got a, all the good options that you need, but not too many like other membership plugins that, um, you know, take you hours and hours to figure out. I mean, if we just treat it like it's straight out of the box, we can come here, start at the top. That's what I always do, start at the top, work my way down. So, you know, say I wanted to add a new product, I just click here and um, let's call it just um, uh, new product and then if I don't have a page on WordPress created for that product I just click here and the plugin will create a page for me okay Zach's a member download page for new product and then um, here is where you have to put in the product number from the product listing at Zaxa so, you know, um, just for example, okay, if you remember uh, in the last video, um, part two of this Zaxa series, um, I set up the Forex trading product here. So, say I wanted to add this product to my membership site, uh, I need the SKU number, which is right here, it's right at the very top. Okay, so. I just highlight that, uh, I didn't get that extra three. Okay, so add that in. Um, there's only one price for that, but if you have you know, a product with multiple price points, you can set the number of price points uh, and you know, choose a related product, um, page, download, whatever. <laughs> so you, yeah, most of the time, you know, you have one price point for a product, so don't worry. Then you need the ZPN URL. Uh, but first we need to save this. This is just what I'm working on, but the, uh, the page that we just created for that was that one, right? We want to give access for these members to that page. And then Boom, we hit the save changes. Okay, uh, let's click back on the new product. Okay, now this, it'll give you these links. I copy that one. And let's go all the way to the bottom. This is exactly in our product listing. Membership integration, yes. Uh, Zaxa member, that's what we want. And then script integration, we gotta click yes on that. Then Zaxa payment, this is our um, ZPN URL. That's that one, ZPN URL. So put that in there. And then we also want to click on there, give it a test. And it, if it's working, it'll say success, so that's good. Um, and then one more thing. This is just for demonstration purposes, but the thank you delivery URL. Okay, um, we in the previous video I set up uh, a hosted uh, download page on Zaxa for the product, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I'm gonna host the thank you page. So this is where I put the uh, the Zaxa member return URL on the thank you page. I save the changes and it's all ready to go. So really the, um, the front end checkout sequence and, and uh, how do you say the flow at the front end is all the same, just the back end is going to be different. So once a member um, buys the product, uh, he or she will get an email from from my website here with their login details so that they can go and log in to my secure members area they can download it and you know then they have access to it anytime that they want of course with Zaxa um, Zaxa member you can 
set up you know monthly recurring membership sites so you know you can unlock drip content to them like on a weekly basis on a monthly basis uh, however you like you know it's completely flexible that way you know there's there's a lot you can do with it and um, it's completely free you know you just have to connect it you just have to have a Zaxa member have to have products on Zaxa and then you you know you connect it all with your Zaxa member plugin I know there's a lot more to the plugin than what I've just showed you so you know install it have a play around um, it can pretty much do any kind of membership site that you want um, if I go over everything in this video it will probably end up being you know an hour two hours long so um, t play around with it if you need um, if you need extra tutorials Zaxa even has the membership training pretty much any question that you have or problem you have about Zaxa member plugin you can find the answer right here so so I'll wrap up this video right now um, if you got any questions about Zaxa or Zaxa member please let me know shoot me an email uh, I've been using it for you know three years or so so I I know how it works most general questions I, I'll be able to help you um, if you have any other major questions the Zaxa support team is really spot on on the ball so ask them thanks for watching catch you in another video this is Stu tuning out